Mga binibinit ginoo, tayo po ay magsiupo at pakinggan ang mensahe mula sa ikaanim na Chancellor ng UP Mindanao, Professor Liar Annie E. Murao. UP President Dadilo L. Concepcion, Faculty Regent Aimeline Babion Dupo, Staff Regent Victoria Canape Belegal, Student Regent Louise M. Co, Director Robert Lester F. Aranton, representing Alumni Regent Reynaldo C. Lacerna, UP System Officials, Chancellors, from various UP constituent units, Davao del Norte Governor Edwin Juwahib, Davao de Oro Vice Governor Tyrone Uy, supportive officers and members of the UP Mindanao Foundation, UPAA Davao, and UP Mindanao, Mindanao Alumni Association, UP Mindanao officials past and present, faculty and staff, colleagues, parents and guardians, family, friends, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, members of the graduating class of 2020, 2021, and 2022, good morning. You're here, finally here. Thank you for your patience for waiting for this face-to-face -face ceremony. Some of you have waited for additional years after graduation to march on stage for your diploma. You're finally experiencing graduation day in the fresh outdoors instead of the constraints and fatigue of the computer screen. This ceremony is also historical as it graduates the pioneer batch of students who transition into K-12 education. In my case, this moment takes me back to the time when I saw our first UPMIN students graduate more than 20 years ago, when I was still a new faculty member. I had no idea that someday I would be handing out diplomas to you, our best and brightest. I am forever grateful for this privilege and truly humbled at what has been entrusted to me. In his book, Musicophilia, the late writer and neurologist Oliver Sacks wrote that perception is never purely in the present. It has to draw on experience of the past. And thus today, we honor our memory of our experiences here in Yupimin and the memories we are about to make today. A few days ago, I found out that our official photographer, Mr. Rene Arias, recognizes me from my days at the Philippine Science High School campus. Are you here, Mr. Arias? Thank you, sir. Mr. Arias holds a very important role in today's ceremonies, being responsible for giving you something tangible that you can take home to remember this moment. He is, in a sense, our memory keeper. Allow me then to retrieve some of my favorite memories of UP. I hope you all indulge this trip down memory lane. When I first stepped into the University of the Philippines, Diliman, as an alumna of the pioneering batch from Philippine Science High School, Mindanao, I was nervous about living up to the reputation of my high school matter, alma mater. Were we trained enough to be at par with other UP first-year students? Yes, 
We made it into UP. But will we survive? Then came our first exam in first year. Chemistry. I think you know where I'm going with this. The questionnaire was handed to us, and my mind went blank. Nakatuwang alam ni. I stole glances with my blockmate, and our reactions made it apparent that our sleepless nights preparing for this exam was not enough. I finally realized, I. Maudi ay ni ang UP, pare-pareho lang may maglisod. True enough, you can imagine how well we did in that exam. Bagsak mitanan. Bagsak kami lahat. Nevertheless, that moment pushed me to persevere and to try harder because this university is a different kind of learning experience. All together. Believe it or not, that pivotal first failure eventually equipped me on my own journey as a virologist. My early years of teaching and research at UP Maine were memorable, starting from scratch with a mere funding of 300,000 pesos. In my field of research, that's not a lot. My students and I helped one another set up our laboratories since our funding did not include salaries for staff. But we were excited by the prospect of starting from almost nothing just to take the first step to progress. The laboratories were eventually used by several research programs including the Philippine Genome Center, or PGC. When we started the PGC here, my simple dream was for the university to be a center for molecular diagnostic services. I never imagined that a pandemic would thrust us into the front lines. We were suddenly living the realities that our virology textbooks warned us about. The unprecedented event changed the way we do things, disrupting virtually everything. Throughout the pandemic, the scientists and experts of UPBIN collaborated with government and private groups to find and implement solutions to the crisis. For the first time, I witnessed and immersed myself in a powerful conglomeration of efforts between the university and other sectors of the society. Within the halls of the university, a transformation was also developing. I witnessed the patience and perseverance of the students as they were forced into this unfamiliar mode of remote learning. I witnessed the humility and creativity of the faculty who have had to adjust their teaching strategies and materials just to make sure that the students continue learning. In the process, we teachers were also learning from the experience. I witnessed the bayanihan of alumni who went out of their way to make sure the students who were stranded in campus were attended to, and eventually sent home safely. Most importantly, I witnessed the dedication of the staff who helped keep the university running behind the scenes throughout the pandemic. And in the midst of all this, I witnessed how the UP system was providing guidance and support to keep the university alive and relevant with a rapid shift in the educational platform. Indeed, times are changing, challenges are evolving, calling us to go beyond just making UP education available to as many 
deserving students as possible. Reshaping education in the fastest way is now a must. We need to double harness our collaborative and innovative tools for speedier decision making. After all, we got through the pandemic by our sheer collaborative and innovative spirit. The pandemic has taught us that this can be done. And what better time to change things but now? UP Min is in a unique position to influence national development through its mandate to provide quality education and public service in Mindanao. Had there been a UP Min during my college years, I would have chosen to be on this campus. Today, 27 years since its establishment, UP Min has provided thousands of students with access to arguably the best education in the country, an education that engages them to be responsible and responsive global citizens. We have to open more doors, especially for students from marginalized and underserved areas, to allow more families and communities to enjoy better conditions. Remember, an empowered youth can change the world. Our expansion programs on biocultural diversity, sustainable agri-food systems, health, sports development, and innovation will be our ticket to delivering transformative and lasting impact for communities. We have to be inclusive, participative, flexible, agile, and innovative to be responsive to the needs of Mindanao. We need to be fully engaged in shaping a genuine Mindanao narrative. Let's keep the spirit of culture and the arts alive by incorporating evolving pluralistic narratives that immortalize and enrich the Mindanaoan heritage. Let's help the public discern from the tons of information or misinformation in emerging platforms. Let's reshape education to make it attuned to the current time. But what will it really take to reshape education? Our volatile, uncertain, complex, and ambiguous environment challenges our capabilities as individuals and institutions. Reshaping the future of education will require minds that are willing to break free from tradition and from what is popular. We need to cultivate an environment that encourages creative and critical thinking. Our campus must protect democratic spaces where ideas can thrive freely, safely, and without threat. We need individuals with strong character to build a thriving academic community, a university whose influence and impact resonate beyond the walls of this campus. We need to be a community upholding our convictions Choosing the path of integrity, even if it means prodding through the more difficult road instead of the path of least resistance. We need to reiterate our mandate as the national university to serve with the best of our abilities and promote academic freedom in all our colleges. Let the academic community exercise freedom to discover what is happening around us and to help become part of the solutions to these problems. Our educational system needs to be informed of social realities and technological trends, 
for adaption into the society and integration into academic programs that work beyond the classroom walls. The university must encourage everyone to engage, collaborate, coordinate, and communicate, leading to collective significance and sustainable impact. We can explore and discover ways for inter- and multidisciplinary sharing of resources, capabilities, and capacities, which can be done through conversations. Let us strengthen our links to our individual and institutional network. It takes patience and grit to reach out to many parties, yet it is necessary to hear and discern the collective wisdom inside and outside the university. To the graduates, you are indeed a special class of your own. You were the first generation of K-12 students and graduates that you all are here. Three batches of UP Mean graduates is a testament to how much we as a community have overcome. This experience shows the kind of future leaders and thinkers we are contributing to the world at large. These graduates are proof that we can endure and we can excel amidst all odds. Let us use our UP education responsibly. The brand of education you received has prepared you well, not just as employees, but also as employers and contributors to national development. We trust that you can mobilize your knowledge, skills, attitude, and values to become responsible, engaged, and responsive global citizens and leaders. Let us always live by the tenets of the University of the Philippines. Dangal at husay. Giting at tapang. Utak at puso. As you leave our hallways, pathwalks, and Zoom meeting rooms, you will naturally cherish your memories of UP Min. You will talk about college life for a long time. The friends you've made here will be your friends for most of your life. The steps you have taken, along with your photographs, are lifelong treasures. Our photographer brought me back to my own past. In the same way that treasured photos and videos taken today will bring us back to this moment. May these memories retrieve lifelong learnings to continually guide our path. May these memories be a constant reminder of who we are. Graduates, remember where your dreams when you applied for this university. Colleagues, remember your ideals when you became an educator. To our dear personnel, Remember your motivation to serve the university. Fellow administrators, remember your aspirations for this university. The memories we carry with us are our legacy to this university and to the nation at large. So, may I now ask, the graduating students and my colleagues to please stand up, turn towards the oblation, and take one long and final look. Our alumni may join. Listen. Whenever you see this monument, whether on-site, online, or by mere memory from today's event, 
take a moment and dig deep to remember who you are. You may now sit down. I'd like to repeat that. Dig really deep. Remember who you are. Remember who you are. Mabuhay kayo. Padayon, class of 2020, 2021, and 2022. Mga binibinit, ginoo muli nating batiin ang ikaanim na Chancellor ng Universidad ng Pilipinas, Mindanao, Professor Lair Ani E. Murao.